If you're still here watching this video, God bless you. I just want to share that um, <laughs> on this day, like I, I just want to pray for people and um, just be real, you know. Like obviously, I did not get dressed or do my hair or makeup or anything for this video. Like it's not about me; it's about Jesus. So if you're still here watching this video, just sing. Let me make sure my, yeah, my sound's on. Lord God Almighty, the words are holy, 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 yeah. Lord God Almighty. We have to learn how to receive grace for ourselves and to give grace to others. And you know what's so hard is is breaking breaking like our mindsets and things that feel natural to us. If it's not if what feels natural to you is not like glorifying God or pleasing God or showing love, then we have to work on it. You know, like we do need to be changed. We do need to be transformed. We can't be like, oh, we don't want to offend anybody or, well, that's just the way they are. Like, no, it's not about how we are. Like Jesus died for so many reasons. One, to reconcile us back with God because sin separated us, kicked us out of the garden of Eden. so that we could be empowered by the blood of Jesus Christ so that we would no longer be victims or powerless to the devil but to be empowered to know our identity to know our inheritance that we are adopted into the family of God that we would not feel shame or guilt like Yes, initial shame and guilt when we've committed a sin is, is a natural good feeling for a consequence of sin. But once we've repented, a sincere repentance and fully turned, and you're making strides to move forward, if you continue to just stay in a cycle of shame and guilt, that's, that's not from God. That's just the enemy trying to, to bring you back and hold you back from moving, moving forward to actually be a light that Jesus, if Jesus is inside of you, you're the light of Christ, right? You're supposed to push out darkness. So Jesus says like, be covered in the blood of Jesus and you'll, you know, disease, sickness, it'll pass over you. The angel of death will pass over you. Different things will pass over you. Harm will not come upon you when you plead the blood of Jesus Christ over yourself. When you anoint your home with anointing oil, when you do all these things that, I don't know why I'm, I'm in my 30s and just learning about them. It's just sad. You know? At a certain point, we all become accountable. That's why I, I one of my favorite verses, and I'm, I'm so thankful for the verse that says, love covers a multitude of sin. I'm so thankful for that verse, for all the sins that I've committed. For if I, like honestly, something that right now is really on my, my mind is, is like using like spanking or hitting or whatever as discipline. Like I'm trying really hard not to do that. And then other cultures are like, yeah, do it. But then like, I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. It doesn't make sense to me. And then like today, my, my toddler just kept hitting me, hitting me. He's not even two yet. Hitting me, hitting me. And I'm like, no, stop. Like, you know, and then I, 
I don't even want to admit it, but I did it honestly because of a, of a culture that is like, you should do that. And I'm like, what the heck? Maybe it'll work, you know? So it kind of like hit his hand, but it didn't, it didn't do it. It just made it worse. And I honestly felt like I was sinning against God and I was sinning, sinning against my child by doing that. You know, that's, that's how the devil works. That's how we, people open up for, for the enemy to come in is through sin. So if we think there's no consequences for our sin, that's a lie. That's deception from the devil to make us think there's no consequences for sin. There is. It gives, it gives power to the enemy. The only way that the devil can have power is when he lies to us and we believe the lie. But he was already defeated at the cross. So this is why we need to pray for wisdom. We need to ask for forgiveness of sin. We need to pray for wisdom. We need to pray for discernment. We need to pray for revelation. Ask for these things and the Holy Spirit will give it to us. The spiritual gifts, the gifts of the Spirit are for believers. There's something called cessationists out there that don't believe that, that spiritual gifts are for today. That doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> you might as well say that the Holy Spirit doesn't move in power. And honestly, that's it's just a whole other topic. But, and this leads to another topic about how the body of Christ is so divided. Like that, that, that grieves the Holy Spirit, that quenches the moving of the Spirit, that breaks Jesus' heart, that breaks the Father's heart. It's like, imagine when you have children. Your children are like fighting or they're not talking or they're disagreeing. It's like, that's what the body of Christ is doing with all these different doctrines like there should be one the bible father son holy spirit the trinity anyways today's good friday i praise god i thank jesus for dying for me when he died and shed his blood he saw me every single day of my life when i was really screwing up when I've been preaching at the park, when I've been praying for people, when I've been not a good mom, when I've been a really patient mom. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, I hope this encourages you somehow. Um, but I really wanted to get on here because if someone has a prayer request, I want to know what it is so I can pray for you. Because honestly, that's what Jesus did all the time. He was answering people's prayers. He was healing people. And so I, I want to live my life like Jesus. You know? Anyways, God bless you guys. Happy Good Friday. I hope you have a wonderful day. And know that Jesus loves you so much.